I am good enough to top eight every ignition from now on. Yeah. And every ignite I have been to since I got back from my elongated leave. Yeah. I think back at beginning of December, he has been in the top eight no matter how stacked. Yeah. Even that super stacked one we had a couple weeks ago where uh, we had Mr. R in town and MK Leo won the event. Mm -hmm. Slenderman top eighted that one too. Yeah, Sl he, his Link has some stuff. Like, Link has some stuff, but the way that Slenderman utilizes those options and those combos and everything like that, it's kind of crazy. Like, like the only reason that Shell was able to pull it out is because Ryu is really, really strong. But otherwise, like, if he, if he hadn't been playing a character that has the comeback factor Ryu, like... It would have been a different story. Slenderman is looking real good today. Yeah, Slenderman has been looking good in the weeklies. I'm excited to see how his monthlies progress. Meanwhile, we got to Midas going back to Mewtwo. We saw his fox a few minutes ago. And now we are going to be on who was his main for a while. I think safely I can say he's a co-main of Mewtwo Fox yeah. at this point. And he also wants to pick up Bayonetta, but we haven't seen a lot of results from that. But yeah, I think the reason that you go Mewtwo here is because Link has a sword. And Mewtwo needs that extra range from his fares and his long tail and stuff like that to try and combat that. Fox just doesn't have the range to go up against um, Link. Also, Fox, because he falls so fast, can get can go a... Tons of damage can come from Link's incredible combo game. Additionally, Mewtwo has the Shadow Ball for ledge guarding Link. If Link does have one really glaring weakness, it's his recovery factor. He can recover far if you know how to utilize the bombs, but his recovery is very punishable and very readable. Right. I mean, yeah, he does have the uh, the Zare, like he has the hook shot that lets him recover, but also Demitis can punish that as well just by drop down back air. He does. Now, Link does have some very interesting things. Um, for those of you watching who don't know Link stuff too well, as he does get fared and die. Yeah, if you don't know Link stuff, I mean, you know Mewtwo stuff. That, that Shadow Claw is stupid strong. But Link stuff that Slenderman can rely on, his grab is the longest grab range in the game. Um, <laughs> Unless it's a pivot grabbing Bowser, apparently. Yeah, apparently, <laughs> yeah. Um, Link has the ability to um, use bombs into many setups. He's got jab setups into up smash, jab setups into down smash, which is really a powerful move that a lot of players don't know about. His neutral air has, is a double hit move um, that really causes players to drop shield frequently because yeah. of how spaced out the two hitboxes are. And right there, what he was looking for was an air dodge into an up smash, but uh, Demitis oh. did not buy it. Yeah, Demitis has been reading just about everything Slenderman's been throwing out, and another Shadow Claw is going to seal that game in under two minutes. That was that was a dominating performance there by Demitis, but uh, um, the same thing happened, and I'm, I don't mean to keep bringing this up, but I just happened, that's the last time I saw Slenderman, is against Shell, he got dominated game one, and then he's like, oh wait, I can do things. <laughs> and then game two, he's just like, Here's here's Link. Here's bomb and up smash and down tilts and and it just everything that Link can can bring to the table. He brought out in game two. So, um, but if he was able to kind of get a read on what Demitis wanted to do there, um, we can see this Link make a comeback. Um, if not, then it's going to be a runaway victory for Demitis. So as we go into game two here, what should we be looking for as far as adjustments here, Pack? Uh, if I'm Slenderman, first of all, no fear. Uh, he's been doing well against a lot of top players as he plays them, but he tends to get a little bit choked up as the sets progress. So as long as he can know that, hey, I am good enough now, I've been placing well, I can win this set. Uh, the second adjustment, real big, is he needs better spacing. He got a little too close to Mewtwo too consistently, as you saw right there. He might have had some options for punishing, but this entire game so far, he's been spacing with Arrow and with Bomb and not trying to get in too much. He got a quick 60% on Demitis, and if he can keep that up, he might be able to pull this out. Right. Yeah, the spacing is, is a big thing, um, something that I also w was going to bring up. Uh, you have a giant sword. Like, Link's sword is deceptively long. Like, you have to use that to your best advantage. Like, you have to try and make sure that you stay out of grab range, that you stay out of short hop forward air. You've you got to do your best. They don't call it the Master Sword for nothing. Ooh, another Shadow Claw. And really, Demitus has just been setting those up, and that's one of the difficulties, especially in this matchup for Link is that almost everything Demitis does sets up into a guaranteed Shadow Claw. Yeah. And that is a powerful move to get hit by always. Oh, good, good hit there. Um, no, knowing that he went for the ledge, that was funny. There's oh. that no fear I was yeah. talking about. And that was a good jab and set up into the uppy as well right after. Oh, wow. Reads use, him. Use, use the bombs to cover every other get up option and then just, just dash attack and just just naked. Just here's, here's the jump slash and, and there's your stock. Great stuff there from Slenderman, but he's still got an uphill mountain to climb, and he's potentially on his last stock of the tournament here. 
The Midas has only taken a little bit of damage thus far, and Slenderman's about one setup Shadow Claw away from death. Right, but uh, I mean, I never want to count Link out, especially Link with Rage. Good up smash, and now we have an even game. Suddenly. Yeah, like just like that. Good call. Yeah, I, I after after seeing what Slenderman did earlier, I gotta say that I would never count him out against anybody that is like even remotely unfamiliar with Link. Because if you don't know everything that Link can do, he's gonna cause you trouble. Did that bomb just clank that shadow ball? Yep. Oh my gosh. All right, he. Demidas went for the hard read up smash. Didn't quite get it, allowing Slenderman to really make this a legitimately even game. Slenderman trying some uh, tornado shenanigans there. I mean, they're, they're, if you're gonna if you're gonna oh. try for some shenanigans, you might as well use the tornado, which win boxes are crazy jank in Smash Four. I really like that attempt for the up tilt by Slenderman. Mewtwo is sneakily one of the lightest characters in the entire roster. Yeah, he's what like fifth or sixth now. It's worse than that. It, I think yeah. he's lighter than Kirby technically. Oh wow, good grab. That was max range grab. Ah, the lingering hitbox. Yeah, that it, it's that's kind of like almost like a sex kick where the hitbox stays out and it just you know it wanes a little bit. But I mean, you're still falling onto a giant sword, so that's one of the strongest lingering hitboxes I think in the entire game too, because it hits you with the same amount of power from the beginning to the end as you saw it kill right there. That was maybe the last two or three frames of that up up air. Yeah, I don't know for sure, so I'm not going to say with any amount of certainty, but I want to say that the thrust might be a little bit more powerful, but the hitbox that stays out doesn't really lose power. Yes. All right, so we're going to have a game three here. You see Slenderman popping off a little. You see the hands going. Yeah. Uh, he's feeling it a little bit. Demidas, though, is a real calm guy. He knows how to stay collected. I've only really seen Demidas tilt like once or twice, and that was when... He was tilting because of his own play, not because of what someone was doing to him. The hardest I've ever seen Demidas tilt was because they didn't put Halucha into Smash. <laughs> and you know what? For that, he deserves the tilt, because Halucha is no far-fetched. All right, we're going to Duck Hunt. Uh, no surprise there. Uh, Demidas uses a lot of gimmicks here with a character that is technically, I would classify as a floaty. Yeah, uh, you're, you're not wrong there. And I mean, Chicago in general has a kind of a love-hate relationship with Duck Hunt. It's like. Like, the people that want to go to Duck Hunt really want to go. The people that don't pretty much will kill you if you try to go there. I don't know if I would call it a love-hate. I would call it a love-JJ relationship because <laughs> he's the one who's most outspoken about the stage. But a lot of the players in Chicago have learned to utilize and abuse this stage pretty much from top to bottom. It's a good thing to know, too, because this is a great counterpick stage, not necessarily for the scene, but to know and have yeah. knowledge of. Yeah, until, until it mercifully goes away, hopefully. Can we talk about for a second how Link's shield just took away Shadow Ball by oh, standing yeah, still? Like th that, that was something I was surprised he wasn't trying earlier. Like He kept jumping over and like trying to pull bombs and everything, and it just put him in bad position. Yeah, you, if you just stand there with Link or Toon Link, you can just take it. Wow, Demidas going so deep into the very bottom left corner for a Shadow Claw. Pretty much as long as Mewtwo has a second jump, he's recovering from anywhere. It's such a, it's such a looping, uh, like, uh, like animation, and it adds so much momentum to his jump that uh, if you know if you use the up B after it, you're pretty much just fine. So yeah, Mewtwo goes deep. All right, Slenderman needs to finish out a stock here as he tries to attempt to continue his Slenderman for PR crusade. Nice forward air. I like that Slenderman's doing with the forward air because Demidas is really doing a lot of shield dropping after the first hit because Link doesn't have a whole lot of multi-hit moves from the air. Slenderman doing everything he can to try to get in, but Demidas has just kind of been jumping circles around him. Yeah. That floatiness, as you mentioned at the top of this game, is really kind of coming into effect, but the lingering hitbox again comes out and ends a stock. So Demidas is on his last stock, possibly, of the tournament. Really smart from Slenderman on that up air. He actually delayed putting the hitbox out a little bit so that even air dodging, you were going to get hit. Shadow Claw trades, but no rage means that Slenderman's going to have one last lease on life from those forward airs of Mewtwo. Yeah, let's, let's see if we can do something. With we're it. gonna have to see how Slenderman's credit is here. If he can get maybe get another uh, another lease here. Yeah, this would be a huge win for him, both for morale and for you know taking out large oh, well. players. Great! Oh, but he oh. dodges out of a little bit of panic, a little bit of trying to dodge, and just unfortunately that up smash is lingering <laughs> to the max. Like it just stays out, 
and it's strong the whole way through, and it'll just just warp you right in. The only person I've ever seen DI out of it is like you see with Pikachu. Yeah, I believe Slenderman's own bomb put him in that predicament. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, you know, that's that's the pros and cons of playing Link, and all of them are bomb. <laughs> sometimes you if, just if, wind up in a bad it's spot. It's my opinion that if Link didn't have bombs, he'd be like bottom two character. <laughs> Like, it, with, like his bombs are his entire thing, but because they're so good for him, it doesn't really matter because he has them, so it's not worth discussing. But, yeah, bombs are huge, and sometimes it screws you like it did there. Yeah.